Mike, it's a pleasure to be welcomed on set now by captain of the Wildcats, senior Trey Demps. And it's got to be hard for you to believe, Trey, five years with this program now, and you've got a handful of regular season games to go. Can you believe it's finally coming to an end? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely hard to believe. You know, I feel like I spent a, a good portion of my life here and, uh, you know, the faculty, the athletic department has been like family to me. And so, uh, you know, I'm forever grateful for, you know, just for the, how the university has treated me and my wife now. And, um, you know, it, it's just crazy. You know, you want to just leave it all out on the floor and, and in the classroom as well. You went through a, a coaching change. That's never an easy thing for a player. How difficult was that for you during that transition period? You know, um, it was difficult in a way, but I, I kind of viewed it as an, a new opportunity. And, uh, you know, I you know I remember when uh, we got the call that saying that Coach Collins was going to be the coach, you know, I was extremely excited. I knew the Duke uh, tradition was great. And, uh, you know, I, I worked extremely hard. And, uh, you know, because I knew that I was going to have a clean slate. And, uh, you know, I, that's just kind of my, that was my mindset going into it. And it seems like you guys kind of meshed right away. Yeah, you know, I think we're, we both come up from uh, similar backgrounds, uh, you know, NBA backgrounds, both of our fathers, you know, you know, his father being a head coach, mine being a general manager. Um, you know, we kind of understand the, the high level basketball world. And uh, yeah, Coach Collins has been great and we definitely have a great relationship. Let's look at some of the guys that are coming up now, some of the younger guys. You've had a chance to play a couple of years now with Brian McIntosh. Of course, you played your whole career with Alex Ola, but, but what have you seen from some of the younger guys? Let's start with McIntosh. Yeah, I mean, Brian is an incredible player. And, uh, you know, I always tell people he's, he's by far the best point guard that I've ever played with. I mean, some of the reads that he makes on the court, it, it's almost hard to believe uh, that a player can be that intelligent. and. Uh, you know, just seeing his growth uh, from last year to this year has been tremendous. And, you know, he's, you know, grown as a leader. Uh, you know, he's gotten stronger. Um, you know, he, he's just, just a really confident player, and he's going to be an all-time great here. You've had a lot of big moments in this gym over the years. Is there one that stands out? Because I think if you ask most fans, they would say it was that Michigan game here last year. Looking long. Got it to Cobb. Cobb under the basket. Kicks left corner. Demps three for the tie. Go! With 3.2. He did it again. Funny thing about that Michigan game is, you know, I, I wasn't playing very well the, the entire game until that last moment. Um, so I'm, I'm very appreciative of that game. But uh, I think the game that really sticks out to me was uh, Indiana last year. You know, just, <clears throat> you know, playing against, you know, you always you know, kind of get going to play against, you know, one of the top guards in the country in Yogi Ferrell. And, uh, you know, to, to be able to, to beat them on our home court was special. You look at what this team has done, where you are right now, regardless of what happens here, the final four games this season, the Big Ten tournament, whatever uh, postseason tournament you guys might end up in. What do you think the legacy will be that, that you and Alex and some of the guys who've come before you leave behind here? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, when you begin uh, a journey and begin a uh, kind of a new culture, you know, there, there's there's growing pains. And uh, Alex and myself and, you know, guys like Dave and Dershawn, uh, you know, we, we kind of stuck around and, you know, fought through the growing pains. and. Uh, you know, this year we kind of started to see the fruits of our labor, and uh, you know, we're, you know, no, ma no matter where this program goes, and I know it's going to go to high places, we're going to be very uh, appreciative to be a part of, you know, the beginning of something special.